Now it's time to assemble our two-page layout. We already cut the papers and organized it to page one and page two. We assembled our title, and if you have not done yet, please, I suggesting you go back and watch the video one and video two before you start watching this one. What I like to do is start with one page at a time. At this time, I am going to start with my left page, which is page one. Please find your seven inch by 11 pattern paper. And that is the piece we are going to glue it down first. Just like that. Next piece is your three and a half by 10 inch pattern paper. So far, this is what we have. Now, do you remember the zip strip we cut down the very beginning? I would like you to find that because we are going to use that here. If you cut the zip strip better than me, you don't have to do this. But because I see the other pattern in here, I am just trimming down the blue part. On this page, we don't have much to do except this is the last piece we are going to glue down and we are going to move on to the next page. I suggest you to save that small zip strip. You never know when you need it. Now these two four by six picture mat, I am not going to glue it down yet. I'm going to wait until I know exactly how I want to do it. So let's just move on to the next page, which is page two. First piece we are going to glue down is two inch by 12. Thank you. 
Again, find your zip strip and glue it down. This is what we have so far. Next, please find your three and a half by eleven piece. And before we glue it down, we want to make sure we have the same space on the top as our first page. From the top to there, it is one and a half inch. But let me just double check. Yep, one and a half inch. So I am just going to put a tick mark for myself to help me to, to line up. But of course, you don't have to do this. You can just eyeball it. I am just not comfortable doing that. I don't know, but every time when I eyeballing something is always crooked. See, I am completely satisfied. Look at that. Everything is perfect in there. We are almost done, ladies. We have only one more piece left. If you follow the video, this is what you should have right now. I am going to stop now to get my pictures and I, I will be back. Okay, so this is what I was thinking to do, but how did I get here? Off camera, to save time, I already trimmed my pictures down and glued on top of the craft cardstock. Now it's time to glue everything down. I kind of wanted some dimension on my page, so off camera I put some foam tape on the back. To embellishing my layout, 
I actually used some leftover pictures and cut out some tomatoes. I think it worked really well because I also needed some kind of color balance on my pages to pull the two pages together. I think this is a good place to do my journaling. I think my layout is complete. I probably going to put more embellishment later, but for now, I think I'm all set. Can't wait to see what you are going to do. I am sure it will be much better than mine.